I'm Lee Berger, and this is the 105 Expedition. As we move forward with work on the UW-105 site, several things will happen simultaneously. One is preparation of the fossils. A second is continued mapping of the area of the cave we're interested in to create a baseline record. And the third is creating access to the area of the site we're interested in. I'll do specific videos on the latter two processes later, as well as a video on how we set up the curation plan and develop the specific scientific questions we'll be asking and how we plan on conducting that work at the site. Today, I'm going to briefly look at what is happening on site in preparation to begin work specifically related to the preparation of the fossils. As I mentioned in the previous video, we've moved our preparation facilities to five individual laboratories so our preparators can work in single isolated spaces instead of one large space because of COVID. This is in order to practice social distancing and ensure that if one person gets sick, not everyone does and the work can continue. These preparation spaces were actually adapted from our field school huts, and we used the existing bunk beds to manufacture laboratory benches. Microscopes were installed as well as a compressor, and this allows us to do mechanical preparation in a safe environment. Mechanical preparation is done while looking through a microscope with a microscribe, which is a vibrating tool that, in simplistic terms, creates a tiny shock wave through a needle that fractures the harder rock, leaving the bone untouched and exposed. It's a very simple but extremely effective way of getting the fossils out of the concrete-like breccia they're encased in. Fossil preparation is, by the way, a skill that takes many years to develop, and our technicians are highly skilled at this task. We then installed a number of cameras and conferencing tools in the labs. There are actually four cameras in the lab. Two are monitoring cameras, one over the whole area, and the other situated for close-up view. There is also an HD conferencing camera and a microphone speaker set up as well as a computer camera. This setup allows the technicians to interact with each other on questions of preparation, and we scientists to not only follow the progress of preparation, but interact with the technician at any time on questions of preparation or questions about the anatomy of a fossil being prepared. Two of our preparators, Justin Mukanku and Zandili Ndaba, have been assigned to work on the 105 specimens, and they'll be in Huts 1 and Huts 5. Hominid fossils from Malapa are being prepared by Boy Lowe, Danny Miti, and Irene Mafosa in huts 2, 3, and 4. Today, we are moving Zandile temporarily from her Maripang virtual lab to Rising Star. Zandile is a well-known, well-respected preparator who has for the past several years been working on preparing the spectacular block containing the remains of Australopithecus sediba that was just on display at the Perot Museum in Dallas. We hope to have her set up by Tuesday morning, and we will either begin preparation then or on Wednesday morning, the 26th of August. Tomorrow, we will be casting the hominid block so that we have a physical record of its condition, and we'll do the initial photography of the block as a record of its initial condition. We're then ready to begin preparation. Once that begins, we'll be following that process here on the fossil vault as we watch the specimens. Justin will be working on a second block that I've collected from a collapse about 20 meters from the point of discovery of the first block. I've marked the position of this discovery with a light in this image. This block has some very interesting fossils and rocks in it, and I chose it as I know its context. I know where it came from in situ in the cave, that is, its original position. And I suspect that this area may be the place where the hominid fossil came from. Future work will involve different types of analyses of the sediments themselves to test their similarities or differences with the original hominid block. Well, that's the process today, and as things develop, I'll continue to update you on the progress we make. From Johannesburg, South Africa, I'm Lee Berger, and thanks for joining us on the 105 Expedition.